This is a Noodler's Nib Creeper. Creeper is spelled in kind of a strange way. I'm not sure what the meaning of that is. Uh, Noodler's, uh, for those of you who don't know, is an American pen brand. This is US made. Uh, the pens are noted for a few things. One is being a little finicky. Another is having nibs with some flex to them. So you see those tines opening up. And another is some of their pens are in a material, they call it vegetable resin or something like that. Anyways, it's a kind of plastic with a very distinct kind of uh, sickly sweet smell to it. Some people really don't like the smell. I actually find it nostalgic. I must have had toys made with this same kind of plastic when I was a kid or something because uh, although I don't love the smell, it doesn't horrify me. And like I said, I find it somewhat nostalgic. The Nib Creeper is the smallest and least expensive of the pens that Noodlers makes. Uh, but as you can see, it does come in this lovely, almost transparent, almost clear demonstrator. There is a slight yellowish cast to the pen. It is a piston filler. So the piston is quite stiff, um, but it is a piston. And all the parts are clear plastic except for the feed, which I believe is actually ebonite. Um, Fact check me in the comments if I'm wrong here. Anyways, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna see what this pen is like as a demonstrator. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use one of Noodler's inks. This is Black Swan in Australian Roses. And so we're gonna lower that piston. Um, and one thing you can see right away is this pen does not hold a ton of ink. It's not as nearly as big uh, and beefy as some of the other Twisby inspired pens that we've looked at. This pen is really its own design, which is actually kind of nice. It's not the most beautiful pen on planet Earth, um, and it is quite small. I think you can you can see how small that is. Uh, but for a size comparison, here is uh, my uh, Aurora. So it's kind of small but very thin compared to this Aurora 88, also much cheaper. Uh, so so far. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's definitely showing off uh, the ink. I got kind of a big fill, so I'm not getting to see much slosh, uh, but that is probably just a mill or so. It's uh, not a very girthy pen and uh, it's not very long either. Okay, so let's see how it writes. Now, I haven't done anything to tune this. All I did was I flushed it with pen flush because these pens are reputed to come with machining oils on them. It does post, so this is the Okay, it's writing well. Noodlers, it's a very fine tip. I'm not doing any, attempting any flex. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. By the way, this ink is really pretty. Um, I'm so pleased that someone sent me this bottle of ink. Um, medium wet, not super wet. All right, we're gonna try and flex. I am not a big flex writer, uh, so I apologize if what I'm about to do hurts your eyes. Okay, yeah, we got some flux out of that. Yeah, I don't have a lot to compare it to. I mean, it's a very small nib, so you're not gonna get a ton of flux out of it no matter what, because uh, it just doesn't have that much space to work with. Um, you see, we can get some pretty serious line variation going on there. Uh, it's taking quite a bit of pressure just so you know to flex it, obviously you can't feel what I'm feeling here, but um, it's not like you just put a little, like with a very little pressure, I hardly get any line variation. But on the other hand, it seems to take okay to being kind of abused. So if you really are into flex writing, I think you could probably do some neat stuff with this pen. Um, for the non-flex, it's a little fine for my personal taste. That's more just a personal taste and it's not scratchy. There's a little bit of feedback, but it's totally adequate. So yeah, I think this is a, this is an interesting entrant. It's quite different uh, from the other pens in terms of size and composition and all of that. This has been the Noodler's Nib Creeper and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.